the new voice, a pneumonia, a tracheotomy, silence. At first he communicates with a look, one raised eyebrow when someone lands on the right letter, then with a hand switch, choosing words on a screen that a voice generator releases into the world until his fingers grow too weak. Then, an infrared sensor in his glasses takes over. It sends an invisible beam that responds to hawking to a tiny movement of his cheek muscle. A click, a choice, a sentence, a muscle in the cheek, a cursor that thinks. He learns to speak through machines, slowly, mechanically, but clearer than ever. I lost my voice and found a new one. In that moment, technology is no longer machine. It is resurrection, rebirth, second soul. That voice becomes an icon, half human, half future.